Thanks for watching. Stay updated about as a remote so. as a cell phone, as a remote detonator. Now, it used to be the only way we had to stop this was with a hail of bullets and a car chase. But that's not necessarily true anymore. We're entering an age where we can stop him with a press of a button from a thousand miles away. Because whether he knew it or not, as soon as he decided to use his cell phone, he stepped into the realm of cyber. A well-crafted cyber attack could break into his phone, disable the over-voltage protections on his battery, drastically overload the circuit, cause the battery to overheat and explode. No more phone, no more detonator, maybe no more terrorist, all with the press of a button from a thousand miles away. So how does this work? It all comes when I heard this story where pagers were blowing up in the Middle East, and I don't mean by notifications, I mean they were actually exploding. I had thought about two stories that I had covered on this channel. One of those stories being these alerts that had been sent to all of our phones. Another story being this crowd strike causing this global outage when it comes to Windows computers and other Windows applications. Hearing this story where these pagers are blowing up in Lebanon really makes me wonder what exactly was placed inside of our devices. because. I had thought originally when this story broke out that a device was placed inside these pagers and once it hit a certain date and time, this device caused these pagers to all explode at once. This had made the most sense to me because there are always explosions taking place in the Middle East. People are always coming up with different ways to place explosive devices into certain objects to cause them to explode. But I was surprised to learn that that was not the case at all. What is being reported is that these pagers were hacked with a certain malware. This malware caused these pagers to increase in temperature. They started to get hotter and hotter until they finally exploded. Now, pardon my French, excuse my foul language, but you would have to be a real Brussels sprout to believe that something like this could only happen in Lebanon with pagers or in the Middle East. You may be saying, thankfully, I don't live in Lebanon or one of those Middle Eastern countries where something like this could happen, but everything you have can be hacked, even right down to your TV. 99% of the cars you see on the road today are easily hackable through Bluetooth and other means. The 1% are still driving old school muscle cars. This is why you see NASA has a field of old school muscle cars. What was NASA's official response as to why they have these old school cars? Their response was they were studying the aging process, that they need cars that go back to the 1980s so they can study the aging process. Now who out there really believes that explanation? So before we get back to this story, I just want to mention that anything that can get malware will get malware. Anything that can get hacked will be hacked. But going back to the story here, I am reading from the AP. I do believe they have the most updated article from the time that I'm making this video. They updated this article about 20 minutes ago. The title of this article happens to be Hezbollah hit by a wave of exploding pagers and blames Israel. At least nine have passed away and thousands injured. Pagers used by hundreds of members of the militant group Hezbollah exploded near simultaneously in Lebanon and Syria on Tuesday, ending the lives of at least nine people, including an eight-year-old girl, and wounding several thousand, officials said. Hezbollah and the Lebanese government blame Israel for what appeared to be a sophisticated remote attack. Now, again, they can go back and forth blaming whoever, but when I hear that malware is being placed in devices and causing them to heat up and explode, this reminds me of CrowdStrike. And who owns CrowdStrike? Who developed CrowdStrike? The World Economic Forum. Because it's not just Israel or any other country in the Middle East or any one country 
that has the means and capabilities to hack our phones, computers, and apparently pagers. But there are shadow organizations. There are organizations like the World Economic Forum that has shown us at any time, at any moment, they can bring the grid down. Your personal computer may not have been affected that day. I do know others that were. But big organizations were affected. Airlines were affected. Supermarkets, pharmacies, and so forth were all affected. But anyway, continuing to read from the story, it says the pages that blew up had apparently been acquired by Hezbollah after the group's leader ordered members in February to stop using cell phones, warning they could be tracked by Israeli intelligence. A Hezbollah official told the Associated Press the pagers were a new brand, but declined to say how long they had been in use. But anyway, continuing to read from this article, it says, at about 3.30 p.m. local time on Tuesday, as people shopped for groceries, sat in cafes, or drove cars and motorcycles in the afternoon traffic, the pagers in their hands or pockets started heating up and then exploding. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash, double honor unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000 men. This is Brother Yerushalam, coming at you with a quick video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. You know, and I'm so lucky I had to, had to, had to listen through to that whole long video, but um, for the essence of the information coming out, you know, I think it was wise to put it in there. All right. You know, uh, this episode is will be called, you know, uh, Pager Deton Detonations in Lebanon. Your mobile phone may also be a grenade. Right? You know, and um, these devils, we saw either more and more the craftiness, the, the technology, the witchcraft, the power on the left hand side, you know, is being um, revealed. All right? You know? And certain things that you know, certain questions that we may have had before, is now making sense. You know, with all this uh, um, influx of smart devices, you know, why they want these things in your house? Why they want you kind of wrong phones and other devices on your body? All right, because they having they have first and foremost they have a negative effect on your health. All right, and fair use, fair use. Right, it's a copyright disclaimer, and you know this video is just for educational purposes only. All right educational purposes only this is not for medical medical advice etc all right so but this is what they're doing all right this is what they're doing they, they you know um the radiation from these vices damaging your brain other parts of your body you know sterilizing you all right and and now they can literally detonate your phone or your pager in your pocket you know potentially killing you on a live in you okay potentially unalive in you you know and you wonder why you know they would have taken the battery they would have, they would have stopped making phones with removable batteries why because you know you could you have a certain level of control right because whereas the guy was talking about you know they could take off the restriction off your battery the overload restriction and cause your battery to your phone to, to overheat thereby making it into a bomb you know the lithium in the, the lithium battery all right all right, so so that's how real it is. So that this this devil, you know, hey, all praises to Abashim Yahushai. We're not ignorant of his devices. But you best believe this devil have nothing good in his mind. It's only dastardly acts, you know, and wicked, evil acts that he knows about. You know, only evil in his mind constantly. So he's created to be the wicked. All right, and this and Esau Edom knows the power of frequency. You best believe that. All right, so let's get some some of the, some um scriptures here. This won't be a long video, Lord willing. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, all of his devices, smart devices, phones, pagers, you know, um, laptops, tablets, you know, uh, PCs, all right, smart TVs, okay, smart this, smart that, all right, all of them could be controlled, all of them could be hacked. All right, you know, you know, you know. Let's read that in the NLT. It says Second Corinthians two and eleven. 
so that Satan will not outsmart us, for we are familiar with his evil schemes. We know that. We know what this devil is up to. And the Lord, through his Holy Spirit, you know, give us the insight of this devil and what he's, what he's, what he's about. You know, and they wonder why, how and why we can, we can, we can understand and we can discern what this devil is doing. Right, this Obadiah 1 and 6, it's through the Lord. You see, how are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All right? Because the Lord, the Lord is doing it. The Lord is one revealing it. All right? Through his Holy Spirit. Proverbs 8 and, and 12, it says, I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. All of the inventions. You know, um, we, talk, we, talk, we spoke about crowd strike, which belongs to the World Economic Forum. You know, and one of the things, you know, that the World Economic Forum put out recently, you know, in, in an article, I think, in the People's Voice, it um they said they talk about sh certain shock events, and I believe I'm not if I'm not mistaken, one of the events was a cyber attack, you know, basically cyber 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 hacking with malware, you know, and uh, we spoke about all the smart appliances, all of these things can be included in your car, your car can be hacked, all right, you know you know they mentioned NASA having a whole field of old school muscle cars because these cars don't have electronics in it all right this kind of level of electronics that could be influenced and hacked you know there's there's no computer box all right these modern day cars uh um you know fuel injected cars they run off of computers and right? these computers could be hacked you know but these old school muscle cars and the old school carbureted cars you know they are immune to these cyber attacks they're also immune to EMP attacks. So these devils, they can lie and say that, you know, hey, you know they have these vehicles there to, 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 to test to see aging, which is bullshit. They have those vehicles there, so when, so when the cyber attacks come, and when EMP attacks come, potentially, they can still get around when everybody else could be grounded. And, that, and hence the reason why they're pushing all these electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles, because they are highly electronic-based. A lot of computers... And electronics and those shit, so they're gonna be definitely gonna be affected. All right, you know, so whatever does the Liam think he saw one, whether he want to take over the vehicle and chop you inside, whether he want to shut it down, you know, you name it, you know, you people you won't be grounded. All right, and that and that, and we don't know the half of it, as I was telling the Akiam earlier, you know, we don't know the half of it of 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 he saw us like some a lot of things still coming out. And any time to come, in a few months coming up, you know, more and more will come out to the evil of this man. All right, let's get another precept here. The book of um, Ephesians, chapter 5, and verse 12. The scriptures say this man is like as death. And in fact, before, <laughs> let me read this first and then we'll go into that. Ephesians 5 and 12, it says, For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. All right? It says um, in the NLT, it is a shame. It is shameful even to talk about the things that are ungodly people do in secret, right? It says, but their evil intentions will be exposed when the light shines on them, for the light makes everything visible. When you walk into the Lord, the light, the Lord, truth, and His Holy Spirit. It says, this is why He said, "Awake, O sleeper, arise from the dead, and the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, will give you light." Okay, so so this this is what it is. What these devils. We best believe, you know, they they hide up all the come. So, all these things that they give us, a lot of a lot of them, you know, you know, are trap, are trap, all right? Because this this guy, in fact, before I go here, this guy, this thing is sticking now. Hell with Esau. Uh, let's see if I can get this here. Habakkuk chapter two, and verse um. Verse 4 says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Right? Yea, also, because he transgressed by wine, which is what this doctrine is, philosophies, it's evil philosophy and doctrine. He is a proud man, neither keep it at home, who enlarged his desire as hell and is as death. Right? You know, putting things to, to unalive you. All right? In your pocket. You know, which which going back to the to, to the RFID um microchip. Alright? The M M O T B. Right? That's that's gonna be able most likely to unalive you. When people think they're gonna 
um, try to remove it when they take it. No, it ain't going to be removed. It. It's going to kill your ass. More than likely. Uh, if, 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 they can do, if they're doing these things already with cell phones and other devices, which not inside of you, right? Fam, but when they put that shit in you, what, what the question is what they're not going to do, be able to do. Well, not, not, not what they will be able to do because they're going to be able to do practically anything to you. All right? Now, look up two and five. So if you're foolish enough to put that shit inside of you, you know, sad be your portion. Have a clock two and five. It says here also, because he transgressed by wine, he's a proud man, neither keep it at home, who enlarged his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gathered unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. This is what this devil doing. All right? I think, and um, the Psalms here, the Psalmist says, back when he closes and open back so I can get it properly. All right, you know, this, this app just keep on seizing up recently here. So like here, this is Psalm 64 and 2. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity as of an evil plot. Insurrection and attack from within, literally within your pocket. <laughs> all right, and so all these jakes love running after this, the technology. It says, who wet their tongue like a sword. And you know what? And you know, they're the using these devices now to do the work of the Lord. To study, you know, to send out the videos, to do the, to do the sit downs, highways and byways. But very soon, you know, we're gonna we're gonna be this. We had we're gonna need to dispose of these shit. We're gonna need to pull these things out. All right. It says, "Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword, and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words." That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. So they listen to all our conversations, gathering information into the artificial intelligence hive mind. All right? And, and literally, they, you know, suddenly, you know, they're going to have these shock events where these things are exploding on them and, and unaliving people. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares, traps privily, which is privately. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities, yeah, they search out the frequencies that they need, you know, they know, they know how to hack these things, you know, and go into the device and, and, and cause it, cause a, a reaction, all right? This devil has done all that in the laboratory. This wicked, evil, uh, mad scientist, Esau Edom, the so-called white man. It says they search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search. So these, de these devils, you know, pay big top dollar, you know, to, to figure out these things. All right, they pay the top hackers, you know, etc., etc. Right, they accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. The mind is deep in wickedness. All right, but we know the heavenly Father Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, and the Son Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you know, is, is coming for these devils. All right, so all you do, all the vices you do, you're not going to be able to take out the elect. This is um Second Ezra sixteen. And I'll start out with 60, 61. It says, He made man and put his heart in the midst of the body and gave him breath, life, and understanding. Yea, the Spirit of the Almighty, which made all things and searched out all the hidden things in the secrets of the earth. Right? Lord, know your thoughts, devil. All right? All right it says, Surely he knoweth your inventions and what you think in your hearts. You know, in you, this devil. Potentially, you know, he think he can take out the elect, you know, with these things. If he knew who he would, he would. That's why he set up the AI, you know, to run the analytics, to extrapolate data, all right, to try to prove who the men of the Lord are. Very likely to take us out. All right, don't be surprised. That's what I'm saying. Don't be surprised. Okay? It says, surely you know it, your inventions and what you think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sin. These devils, they ain't like they're helping you. Um, given your technology and you know, advance and civilization. No, you know, it's shit. It is shit to unalive you. All right? They hide in the shit. It says, Therefore, hath the Lord exactly search out all your works and will put you all to shame. The same device that they set up for that shit. The same device the Lord is using to seal his elect. All right? And when your sins are brought forth, you shall be ashamed before men. And your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. What will you do or how will you hide your sins before the heavenly father and his angels? You're not going to be able to do it. You're going to be destroyed. 
the devil is going to be destroyed. So be aware. Stay prayed up. You know, don't don't keep your phone too close to your head. Don't keep your phone close to you when you when you're sleeping. You know and whatnot. You know you don't know when the, what what going to happen or when. And stay prayed up and trust in your Abashim your Shai. The Lord at the end of the day, the Lord is going to protect His elect. All right, His chosen. So until the next time, Abad Babal and Shalom.